Okay, so we will begin now. Just give me one second. Okay, good evening, everyone. Uh, welcome to Toastmasters of Delhi. This is a very special voice modulation workshop with uh, that will help you in public speaking skills as well as other avenues of uh, whether you're building podcasts, whether at, in your work, when you're giving, uh, delivering presentations to your uh, super, uh, bosses and so on and so forth. There's so many different applications and how you turn into turn your voice into your superpower is will come to great uh, skill as at great skill to you. Uh, today we have a very special guest, uh, Ahmed Faraz. Ahmed Faraz is an ex-radio host who's been with Radio City and a uh, couple of more radio channels. He's a professional voiceover artist who's done shows with National Geographic. Uh, he's a storyteller he's a podcaster you should absolutely listen to his uh, thriller podcast which has gotten over his podcast have gotten over two lakh downloads on spotify google Podcasts. he's a corporate trainer and storyteller and he's here today to take us through a voice modulation workshop that is designed for public speaking and podcasting having personally attended his uh, workshops in the past and uh, been mentored for one of my speeches i can vouch that you are in for a real treat today and uh, I'm at, over to you. Thank you so much, Rohan. Uh, uh, you've actually elaborate, given an elaborate uh, introduction. Now, I don't understand what I'm going to do my introduction. Uh, I hope everybody is uh, okay with uh, a mixture of English and Hindi, first of all. Yeah. Uh, because... Uh, mm -hmm. I don't understand Hindi, sir. You don't have, so I'll, I'll repeat myself and I'll try to, you know, keep it as much English as possible. It's not that uh, it's not possible. The only thing is um, interacting in Hindi uh, for, for at least me, I'm just for, for myself, it becomes a little more uh, fun, so to say. Yeah, I but I'll interact. <laughs> I, I know about three, four. <laughs> No, no, we'll we'll keep it we'll keep it uh, mix, and I'm sure I'll I'll make sure that you understand and you get everything which I'm saying. Thank so you. let me just uh, quickly start with uh, introducing myself. Uh, Rohan has introduced me, but there are a few things which I would like to you know uh, put across and uh, probably break the ice with uh, each one of you. I'll come to the questions. There are some questions coming up on chat. I'll come to the questions. Let me just uh, you know tell you my background because it's important to know each other. Um, so I have been into voice um, and audio for about um, close to eight and a half, nine years. Um, started my career uh, from 91.1 Radio City in Delhi. And uh, I was the one who started Love Guru, the, the program which comes on 91.1, uh, which comes at night. I was the one who started it. I was the first Love Guru of Delhi. So to say, love guru. Uh, but everything was scripted. Uh, everything was given to us. Everything was uh, written by producers and me uh, combined. So uh, don't take me as a literal love guru. I am. I was just a, just an RJ at that time. Uh, but yeah, it was fun. That was my first stint uh, as an audio uh, RJ. And from there on, this love for audio has increased over the time. And um, uh, I'm also a writer. I am currently writing a web series for a, for an OTT platform. <clears throat> I am also, uh, I've also written some short films, uh, which have already been produced yet to be released. Um, and I'm also a filmmaker right now, currently running a production house uh, where we make short films. We uh, have a YouTube channels. Uh, we release short films. We buy short films. Um, so, yeah. So all of this is happening um, uh, quite a lot. But what I wanted to tell you guys is that I was not like this or into voice modulation or, uh, you know, in podcasting around five years back. Yes, I was into radio throughout. I was into uh, RJing, I was into voiceovers, but not into podcasting, not into writing too much, not into filmmaking. I was a corporate slave where, um, you know, this little time which I used to get after my work, I used to put into recording some stuff uh, for free for a few people and just doing it for the love of audio. And, um, uh, you know, I used to receive briefs from different clients and uh, I never used to think this as a professional career because I thought that job is going on, this nine to six, which is happening. So why consider this? This is passion. This is hobby. But then I realized 
if i am able to convert my passion into something which i where i can earn money out of it and then i don't have to be a corporate slave and bound with you know these rules of reaching the office at dot 9:30 um you know punching into biometric and if you reach at 9:30 quarter to 9 quarter to 10 uh, then your salary or you know leaves are getting cut so if i if i can overcome this and make this passion which i have um into my profession and earn money out of it then why not right and from there the journey of exploring this audio uh, fraternity audio industry started and i um, you know i started giving some uh, lectures online i am a ja- jamia alumni so uh, it started from you know uh, giving some uh, guest lectures to jamia uh, jamia management courses so from there on i thought that yes public speaking is something i can do then i got an opportunity of performing on stage um, as a storyteller and since i used to write little here and there so i thought why not narrate a story on stage where everybody else was either reciting some poetry or was reciting some something uh, very creative but i was just narrating my story and uh, fortunately in the audience there was somebody from national geography um you know in in, in that uh, event and when i narrated the story when the event was over that guy approached me and say okay would you do a narration program for nat geo i said it will be my pleasure so that was my first paid assignment because when i started love guru also in in um, radio city i was not paid for it i was an employee they i was into marketing in in marketing team they did an audition i gave the audition my voice was selected i recorded some 15 to 20 episodes but i was never paid for it but this nadjo exercise was the first paid stint when it comes to voice and from there on there was no looking back i understood the audio market and it's huge it's huge public speaking market whether it's training whether it's uh, you know life coaches whether it's uh, you know giving um, life lessons online or on events whether it's audio uh, podcasting whatever topic you choose the market is huge the only thing is you should know how to exploit it and you should know how to take advantage of few things few um, you know uh, talents and skills you have inside you so we'll start this workshop first of all um, you know i would like to understand from any of you who can raise hand and tell me what exactly do you understand by voice modulation exercise what do you expect out of it what do you think uh, voice modulation is i just want to understand so that i can you know start accordingly anybody can who can do it can i try yes please yes please modulation is uh, bringing your voice to a higher pitch or lower pitch or bringing emotions in your voice when it's a sad scene or a very uh, when you are excited about something when you are able to change that voice that is called voice modulation yes absolutely you are uh, you are absolutely correct the only thing is the whole definition of voice modulation is not limited to uh, high pitch and low pitch voice modulation also covers what kind of pauses are you taking what kind of emphasis is where where are you emphasizing uh, in the words in the sentences and uh, how where is it is it required to low the pitch where is it required to high the pitch and there are some techniques where uh, you know uh, for example if you are sitting in a group of 10 people and everybody is shouting at top of their voices because it's a group discussion for example then what is the way of making everybody quiet and put across your point so all these things are usually part of voice modulation uh, i'll start one by one but first um, i always 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 do an exercise for 2 minutes to 5 minutes uh, which is breathing exercise i'll tell you i'll show you how you do and i would recommend each and every one of you who is looking to you know change their voice um, rohan is a perfect example he's done it so um, there's an exercise which i will be telling you couple of exercises do it every day for 5 to 10 minutes every day no matter the time it's not like a body workout that you have to do in the, in the, in the morning or in the night you can do it any time depending on your uh, you know your schedule but please do it every day for at least 2 to 3 months and i i can guarantee today that you'll see the change in your voice all right so i'll start with the first exercise it's called breathing because see voice 
is like so your your vocal cords are like guitar the guitar cords right whatever cords you play that kind of a music comes out same is the voice the vocal cords are like guitar cords now to relax these cords you need to relax your body because everything comes from the body your voice yes your vocal cords are you know uh, interchanging and creating a voice out of it but then your your heavy voice your deep voice comes from the gut not from vocal cords okay i'll tell you how to bring it but first let's relax the body let's calm ourselves down because for voice to be correct your body needs to be absolutely calm do you notice how i calmed my voice also here your body needs to be absolutely calm okay now what we'll do is we'll inhale from nose hold it for 5 seconds and exhale from mouth all right inhale from nose exhale hold for 5 seconds count to 5 and then exhale from mouth till the time the breath is completely out or completely in i'll show you then you guys do it do it for five times and then let's start everybody please do it close your eyes and then do it close your eyes and then do it just feel the breath going in hold it for five seconds and exhale from mouth slowly and steadily and let your body also breathe in move your body with your breath breath move your body with the breath and when you exhale just relax your body like that So breathe in breathe out you will see something going down from your head to the body you will feel it you will feel an energy going from your head to the body just breathe in loudly hold it for 5 seconds and then breathe out from your mouth it's very very necessary to do breathing exercise please 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 keep your eyes closed when you're breathing doing the breathing exercise do not let your eyes see anything just feel everything feel the breath which you're taking in feel your body taking all the breath all the air inside and then feel your body letting everything out just feel that you're ta- taking in positive energies and releasing negative energies out right you you felt you felt something going down the body right you felt a little energy going down so your body needs to be relaxed when you get into the voice thing anybody who's going on stage or going for a presentation or getting into a online discussion or anything like that even any toastmasters uh, session which you guys have to present it make sure that your body is relaxed before it five so before i started this session um uh, you know from 455 i was doing this exercise so that when i connect with you guys my voice is absolutely clear my diction is absolutely clear my words come out absolutely clear because it's it's very important voice to hai par agar words hi samajh mein na aaye to phir what's voice ka kya what is the use of the voice if your words are not coming out correct right so we'll go to that next exercise is gut exercise now everybody is familiar with the word om om right but om is not one word it's three words a o m a all right om is not three, three words it's one word a o m a now how in voice exercises we use this word these words a comes from here a uh, a uh. you know you see the gut you see the gut moving a uh, a uh. so a comes from the gut o comes from here o m comes from your lips mm. so combining all these three is an exercise in itself to let your gut your 
the the you know the area between your gut and the vocal cords to be clear right because you take a uh, oh, so it's like that these this so try it try it once uh, oh, mm. try it try it yes from the diaphragm absolutely so minakshi said from the diaphragm yes gut is basically di diaphragm so you contract your diaphragm when you are saying uh, uh, oh oh mm. combine all these three do it one by one if you are not able to combine then do it from first uh, 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 to clear the gut and please force your diaphragm inside contract your diaphragm inside uh, uh, then only your gut will be able to throw the voice up i know these exercises sometimes feel oh, what kind of an exercise is this i this is a voice modulation exercise what are you doing so a lot of people come back to me with this ki what are you doing this these are not voice exercise we want to change our voice how can we change voice like this but this is believe me this is one of the exercises and uh, uh, which has which has changed a lot when it comes to my voice um, and i can uh, you know share some examples of 6 years you know 6 uh, years pehle ka i can share some videos and today i can share some videos and you see the change in my voice because i have been doing these exercises for around 6 years now every day right so it's it's important that if you want to change your voice and if you have the control of your voice because what happens is why are we are not sometimes able to get that heavy um, you know um, uh, deep voice because the vocal cord vocal cords and gut is not in our control so you have to take the control of your vocal cords and your gut and to do that do that this is the these are the exercises which helps breathing and then let's try everybody अ से स्टार्ट करते हैं गट का गट से करिए लेट्स लेट्स हेयर इट लेट्स हेयर इट एज इन लेट्स डू इट लेट मी सी आई एम सीइंग एवरीबॉडी थोड़ा सा ट्राई करिए लुक लुक हियर लुक हियर यू नो कॉन्ट्रैक्ट योर डायफ्राम एंड से अ लेट अ कम फ्रॉम फ्रॉम द गट एंड देन once you are done with it do it five times uh do it five times uh try kare sab try kare you you'll feel you'll feel you know how to i am sure i am sure everyone must have heard somewhere in their lives that andar se nikalo awaaz andar se take it from the inside that's what taking from the inside is means you you need to have some voice deeper voice from the gut so if i have to let's say um you know talk like talk like very very soft and very deep then i have to take out from the from the gut like you know what i want to tell you is very very important so this this kind of a deep voice only comes from the gut it doesn't come from voice uh, vocal cords right so your gut has to be in your control so once you're done with five then do o oh, o oh. don't move any other body part just your vocal cords o oh. and mu ban karke nahi mu khol ke o oh, bana ke o oh, o oh. right पांच बार ये ओ ट्राई करिए ओ ओ थोड़ा बचकाना लग रहा होगा बट आई एम टेलिंग यू दीज आर वेरी फ्रूटफुल एक्सरसाइज एंड वंस यूर डन विद ओ देन जस्ट क्लोज योर लिप्स एंड से लेट योर लिप्स फील द वाइब्रेशन Mm, just feel the vibration on your lips. Mm, mm. Now, once you're done with this, 
try all the three together uh, oh, mm. then you will see ki in teenon ko combine karke kya effect aa raha hai andar se try kariye uh, oh, mm. abhi aap logon ko mushkil ho rahi hogi i am sure you will feel you are feeling some difficulty for for the a uh, part because a lot of people for a lot of people diaphragm is not in control and it happens it's very common right but that is what the exercises is for right it's it's actually a uh, part of yoga uh, this you know if you if somebody is into yoga and have seen yoga if you see they teach to how to say om right but a lot of people don't know that om is not one word it's a uh, oma oh, right so a uh, oma oh, combining not only helps in cleansing your body but it also helps in your voice so how long do we do have to do it 5 minutes in total 5 minutes in total not more than that but make sure that you're standing in front of the mirror or something is is in front of you because you you need to see your you know body uh, moving and your gut doing things in the initial stage of your exercise once you're used to it then do it anyway even while you know while taking a bath you, if you remember you can do it while combing your hair suddenly remember sit on the bed and do it before going to office or before getting into the office and you remember in the car if you have 5 minutes before you biometrically punch when the covid is over and uh, you know you have to go in just sit in your car and do it it doesn't matter where you do it right the only thing is if you do it inside your house a lot of people have air purifiers and at least the air inside the house is little better than outside these days at least in delhi if i talk about i you know I, in a, in a lot of states it's good outside but in delhi i recommend that if you do it inside it's better anyways you have to stay inside these days because of covid so yeah no choice right so these are these are the two uh, basic exercises which you need to do sometimes what happens is you know uh, so voice modulation also also requires your tongue to be to be at the right place right so there are there are tongue exercises as well it again trigger warning these looks very kiddish your kids if you have kids your kid might laugh at you right if you don't have kids then every other person of the family will laugh at you but these these exercises are necessary take two fingers of each hand put it here yes that's yeah just and slowly rotate your fingers applying a little pressure applying a little pressure apply a little pressure just just keep your fingers at one place don't move it on your skin keep it on at one place apply a little pressure and then rotate clockwise or anti clockwise doesn't matter because ultimately vocal cords and everything is what muscles and to relax your muscles you need to do these exercises as well this is sometimes uh, this is for sometimes when you feel a little tighter here kabhi kabhi kya hota hai when you, you do, do do this like log karte hain aise ki yahan se tight ho gaya aise khol lete hain to usme kabhi kabhi kya hota hai ye muscle stretch ho jati hai ekdam se karne mein na ye muscle stretch ho jati hai so just to relax this is the position can you see you know just below the ear the stair right and then do it like this apply a little pressure you know your body well so you you know kitna pressure apply karna hai right ha uh, so thoda sa uh, uh, apurva thoda upar kariye apne haathon ko haathon ko milne mat dijiye keep it separate ha uh. very nice काफी अच्छी ऑडियंस है सब बात मान रहे हैं अच्छे बच्चे हाँ साफ काफी अच्छे बच्चे हैं ठीक है सो so, ये एक्सरसाइज एक है एक है नाउ लेट्स कम दिस दिस आर लाइक रिलैक्सिंग एक्सरसाइजेस व्हेन यू आर डोंट हैव टू से एनीथिंग डू हैव यू नो वॉइस डजेंट कम आउट ऑफ योर माउथ एंड जस्ट रिलैक्स योर मस नाउ देर इज वन एक्सरसाइज 
which is to throw the voice now because it's toastmasters delhi a lot of you are probably planning to go into stage uh you know uh, stage talking and stage presentations and you know um, uh, trainings and exercises and you know uh, whatever now at in on stage um, uh, a lot of time what happens is you don't have a mic and if you see a lot of life coaches and a lot of these uh, motivational speakers they hardly use mic if the audience is a little smaller but how do they make sure that voice is heard till the end they do voice through exercises is a thing called voice throw exercise this exercise is the kiddish of them all but it's a very good exercise so what we do is ha ha this is the exercise which you do you throw your voice you take your tongue out and you throw the voice as as loud as possible sabke mute hain to kisi ki awaaz kisi ko nahi aayegi you can do it just try ha! throw the voice throw the voice and take the tongue out sharmaiye mat main kisi ko judge nahi karunga ha khud ko bhi hansi aati nothing is coming out only air ha ha to air hi aayegi sir aur awaaz ke sath kya aata hai ha ye uh, gopal ji bilkul theek kar rahe hain the gut se karke awaaz bilkul aise bahar nikal rahe hain you need to throw your voice you know push ekdam chhatke se bahut zyada zor se nahi karna hai otherwise it can uh, you know uh, affect your vocal cords also do it aaram se gap le leke okay so idea is this is a voice through exercise because what happens is when you are giving a presentation sometimes you have to speak low sometimes you have to speak louder but sometimes you don't have anything uh, in terms of your equipment and everything so you have to make sure that your voice is reaching at the right pitch to the right audience even at the back i am just telling you these these things because ultimately you guys have to be prepared for anything and everything it's not that covid will be there throughout or you know whatever there will be time when we will i hope so there will be time when we'll go out there'll be again events will be go will be going on 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 uh, you know on stage and everything so i it's just to make you understand that only plain voice saying does not help you have to throw your voice to um, make sure that you know uh, sometimes you need to emphasize certain things you have to be a little aggressive and telling certain sentences you need to do it need to do it you know these kind of sentences needs your voice to be thrown because if you are not throwing your voice and if you are speaking from from your vocal cords then wo ek gale mein kharash hi aa jati hai na wo aa jati hai if you notice kabhi kisi se if you have a verbal fight with somebody and if you shout zor se from your vocal cords then next day you feeling are kya meri awaaz bad gayi you know it happens because at that time you are using your vocal cords at their peak so rather than not really shouting i i would not advise anybody to shout anybody but yeah if you have to shout in front of the audience for certain things to emphasize certain thing use your gut and throw your voice rather than giving your vo- vocal cords a little too much of an exercise to do right now these are the exercise parul okay let me see kafi message aayenge let me just see the messages yeah, okay i'm an educator in your workshop i've got an patreon yes absolutely absolutely actually what workshop i'm right now giving is from the perspective that anybody who is into either training on on uh, on stage or storytelling or kids storytelling because for kids um, you know sometimes you can't use mics because the speakers from all over the place affects their uh, you know uh, their their hearing so what a lot of teachers do they don't use mics and with mic in one hand you are not able to do hand gestures and not 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 able to explain it properly uh, to the kid so a lot of teacher do not use uh, mics so these are the exercises which help in those kind of things as well where you stand in front of 10 15 20 25 kids and do a storytelling or do a talk talk or whatever and these are the exercises which will help you in that 
Now, as I initially mentioned that, you know, voice modulation is not just about uh, voice. Yes, it is about voice, but it's also about how to recognize your pauses, how to make sure that you are actually emphasizing and pausing at the right time in the sentence. And this was a little too much of a pause, which I took where you guys got a little curious what I'm trying to, what I'm about to say, right? And this is what helps in, you know, getting the attention from the audience. When you're speaking something very, very lightly, very slowly, it's human perception that people will start taking it as something very serious. If I tell a joke right now, you will again believe it as a serious thing. Right. So I'm, these are the things which I'm just trying to tell you, because if I am taking my pauses at the right time, you guys are getting curious. Pauses are to make sure that there are for two things. Pauses are for two things. One for audience to grasp what you just said. And second, to make them curious. What's what is about to come. Right. So uh, how to understand pauses. Now I can't, tell you a, a fixed formula for it because every content has a different formula and every thing which you have to say presentation, uh, training content, storytelling, whatever it is, anything which, which is there has a different uh, set of formula when it comes to pauses and uh, you know, uh, breaks and everything. But what I can tell you right now is in every sentence, every sentence, there are at least two pauses. Every sentence, at least two pauses. Hi, how are you? How are you doing? What are you, what are you doing? I have not taken any pause, but ye kisi ke mein nahi aaya. and nobody will be interested in even giving a right answer. On the other hand, if I ask it, you know, a little nice pauses. Hi, how are you? All good at your end. So everybody's okay. Yeah. So he, you know, pauses give you a little... Uh, time to understand and then your brain processes this, the person who you are speaking to process that sentence and start making what needs to be said. It's science, you know, so whatever you're saying, this is a person who is hearing you. Now, everybody of you will not be just talking to one person. You would pro guys will be probably talking to hundreds of people at one point of time, standing on stage or on Zoom or whatever. When you are talking to hundreds of people at the same time, you need to understand your pauses. Right? Now I gave you guys a little pause to make you and to let you understand what I just said. Now, what, how, how to take a pause in terms of voice? In your brain, when you are prepared with a content, and you know that, okay, in this sentence, I have to take a pause after, how are you? Right? So if you have to take a pause after, how are you? Your brain is already processed when you are about to say the sentence. Now, when you reach that, how are you word before the pause, you lower your voice and make it deep from the gut. Hi, how are you? But uh, what I'm trying to tell you is that you need to be a little deeper when you take a pause. Okay, let's understand this workshop a bit more. Yeah, so what happens is when you are, uh, you know, taking a pause, you are getting a bit slower in narrating or saying that. Why? Because you are giving a little more time for person to, in, you know, just, just uh, understand it and uh, react to it. How should you, we understand how long a pause should be? Okay. So Rhea is asking how long a pause should be. Rhea, see, again, this is very subjective to content and person. A pa uh, uh, you know, a pause can be, cannot be more than few milliseconds because then it becomes a little uh, you know, silence. So, so there's a difference between silence and pause. 
you can't be silent in a conversation but you can take a pause and it depends from person to person how they are speaking how they are doing it a pause cannot be more than this you know i did not take even one second but it was millisecond enough to understand and to grab your attention if there is too many pauses won't audience lose inter- no no so as i said there will not be too many pauses uh, again it's very very subjective uh, lisa it's it's according to the content now if the content requires emphasize if let's say there are five sentences in a length in a in a paragraph where you are speaking and uh, all those five sentences have two pauses each which we have planned but when you are speaking in front of the audience you see how they are reacting on one sentence and then you change accordingly so as i previously said it's very subjective to content and the person who's speaking right so if there are too many pauses audience only lose interest from the perspective of you know how you're speaking not according to the pauses pauses is only to make them understand something a little better than what they are probably doing right now right sometimes the speech will go very slow if there are too many pauses i think this is covered in that so as i said too many pauses no but pauses uh, are pauses important uh, to be taken yes for sure are there too many pauses there is nothing called too many pauses because when you uh, when you start preparing a content you yourself understand that if there are five sentences and each sentence has one important word and that's where you need to take a pause and if the sentence is not too long then you take one pause per sentence so again it's it's very content driven very content to content uh, uh, you know if i had a content right now i would have probably told you in that uh, uh, according to that content may i give But, an example i'm sorry may i give an example and you yes, can please. correct me if i do it wrong yes please so you can say say it like this and i'll repeat in the other way with other pauses वक्त ने किया क्या हसी सितम तुम रहे न तुम हम रहे न हम नो इट कैन बी सेट लाइक दिस एज वेल वक्त ने किया क्या हसी सितम तुम रहे न तुम हम रहे न हम आई टुक थ्री पॉजिज हेयर फैंटेस्टिक एंड इन द अदर वन आई टुक वन सो दिस इज द परफेक्ट एग्जाम्पल मैं यहाँ पे शायरी पढ़ना नहीं चाह रहा था मुझे पता नहीं था कितने लोग समझ पाएंगे बट Uh, no, no, very no. well very 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 well said very well said very well uh, you know this is how you take a pause again it's content to content and uh, isme aur pauses bhi dale ja sakte hain but probably that become too many pauses isme kam bhi kiye ja sakte hain but again that might be a little too too less so again she took pauses where she thought that okay this is where i need to pause because sentence is over or three words or four words have been say, said let people understand and then take a pause then go ahead then take a pause and go ahead so again it's very subject uh, subjective according to the content and person to person thank you um, amelia um, so yeah so this is i think um, answer the apurva has raised his hand apurva please hello am i audible yes you are yeah so uh, there was an example which i read somewhere like uh, there are four words in a sentence uh, emphasizing the pauses like roko mat jane do so if we say it like roko mat jane do mm. this is one and another one is roko mat jane do mm. so meaning entirely different yeah this is uh, this is one way of giving example but this is more like a punctuation example ye comma lagane wala wali baat hai uh, i understand so commas yeah exactly I mean actually use, use of comma commas is something where definitely a pause is is an inevitable because comma is given for that purpose but then if you don't have a written content sometimes uh, a lot of improv improv uh, things also happen for people who are into stage people who are into public speaking and all that now in that you might not have a written content where you know where the comma is so that's where you need to understand your pauses yes comma is equal to pause of course right comma is equal to pause but then you need to also understand if you don't have a written content if you do you don't know exactly impromptu speech use of pause is a game changer absolutely absolutely and that is why i am i am emphasizing so much on pauses because 
if your pauses are not good enough then you're you're losing your audience anyways right so voice modulation is a whole package it's not just uh, you know main amitabh bachchan kitna bol sakta hu ya main dharmendra kitna bol sakta hu ya main you know uh, whatever so it's not just voice it's about a whole package now the sec the last thing which which is there in a whole package so i have covered few things one is the exercises of vocal cords in your gut right second uh, is you know breathing exercise and everything and then i have covered what is uh, what what are the pauses and everything uh, i think uh, somebody raises a hand Yes, uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, I give an example in English also. Because now uh, Amelia and Apur, what Apur, Mr. Apur gave a, in Hindi. Can can you? Uh, right, 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 right. Just a one or two sentences. Hmm. Okay. Let me think of an example in English. Or you can say what they say in Hindi. You can just translate to. Ah, uh, that's that's my plan. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, so um, in English, if you if I, if I have to give you an example, let's say um, you are going on a stage for the first time and you have to introduce yourself, right? Uh, so if I have to introduce myself and I don't take pause, it's it will sound like this. Hi, I am Ahmed Faraz. I am here to take your training on voice modulation. I will start in five minutes. Let's hear from you. What do you want to know? This is without pause. Now, if I have to take pauses and if I have to make sure that I have your attention, attention, I'll be like, "Hi, my name is Ahmed Faraz, and I'm here to take voice modulation exercise. I hope you understand what voice modulation is. So let's hear it from you. What do you understand about it? You know? Thank you, sir. Do you understand where you know this? It's 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 basically. yeah so somebody said it sounds robot robotic without pauses absolutely it sounds like you are you have mugged up uh, a whole your speech or whatever you're speaking and you just coming here and you have that picture in front of you and you're uh, hi my name is amit braz i am here to take voice modulation exercises i want to tell you that, you know it's it sounds robotic for sure but if you are if you are if you are you know you have your pauses enough pauses and if you notice that i have i emphasized on voice modulation in that sentence because voice modulation is something which i want everybody to understand this is voice modulation exercise right this is voice modulation workshop so if i don't emphasize on that so pauses ke sath sath in 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 addition in addition to your pauses emphasis on specific words is also necessary right so if you are if you are not sorry you did when you say voice modulation no we just uh, now I, i'm giving a voice modulation uh, exercise that at that when you are saying that you give emphasis that word no yes 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 and people uh, actually okay. talk fast yes, don't give enough pauses right sorry i didn't get that people who talk fast don't give enough pauses right okay my dear i'm here mute Yes, sir. I'm here. Okay, okay. Yeah, sorry, it got mute. So I am saying yes. It it is very um, person to person. To people who talk can also talk fast can also give pauses because what happens is uh, this was from Nidesh, right? No. Yeah, it's Nidesh. Yeah. So Nidesh, what happens is when you are going on stage or when you are doing something like this, you are already well prepared with your content. now when you are well prepared and pre prepared for with your content you can always work on your pauses when you are preparing for it even people who talk fast it doesn't have to do you know it really doesn't have anything to do with uh, your normal speed of talking because what do you talk what do you say uh, on a daily basis is like you know you don't plan something when you talk to your mother when you talk to your father or your partner or whatever you don't plan you just talk but whereas when you're going on stage there is a definite pointers there is a definite speech which you are prepared if there is but if there is not then obviously uh, the person who's going uh, who is uh, you know a fast talker need to be again well prepared beforehand uh, i have i gave rohan some exercises when we were doing some one one on one workshops where i asked him to prepare his content one on one with himself in front of the mirror 
and he did it for around a week and then he came and presented that content to me there was a huge difference before what he presented before and what he presented after because you yourself know your content and your uh, way of talking better than anybody else so yeah. if you stand in front of the mirror and prepare a content it makes a lot of difference believe me i have done that in my life i'm still doing it when i go on stage uh, for a storytelling session or anything else i because i'm running a production house i have to give a lot of presentation to ott um, uh, platforms prime and z5 and all that so before i go to that presentation i prepare in front of either a phone camera or a mirror or whatever i get where i can see myself because okay. my you know how my body functions with my voice also matters pauses emphasis on words and your body language your body speaks with you now because i have been using my hand gestures a lot it's making a lot of sense to a lot of people here but if i sit like this so um you know um my voice modulation exercise begins here so we'll do some exercises and then we'll move ahead even if i'm using my pauses my body is not at work right but if i am if i am using my hand gestures if i am using my whole body everything is talking everything is trying to convince you that i am right and that's when that's what makes a lot of difference we have a lot of hand raises sakshi sakshi you want to ask, ask something uh yes sir good evening uh, sir so i wanted to ask that uh, when we deliver speeches it happens to me that uh, when i say something and it uh, amazes or do the reaction the people react to it and when i see their reaction i forget what to say next so how to control this like no, i get I'm, lost i'm not able to understand it okay okay let me let me rephrase it um like um, okay so you're saying that if i say something and i'm well prepared and then somebody reacted in certain way which i was not prepared and then mm-hmm. then what right ha huh, kind of that and uh, like you are saying uh, i am saying this and you are reacting you are looking at your shirt and this so these distract me and i get lost hmm. so, uh, why is the person reacting in that way right so i right. forget what to say now. it happens it happens it totally happens and see that happens when you are too involved in knowing um, what the reaction of that person will be for example if i if i am you know um, standing in front of you guys physically not on zoom and talking to you guys and giving this presentation and somebody is on the mobile somebody is looking here somebody is looking there you know so they, these are the these are the distractions but i am not distracted because i was prepared that i am not here to look at the reactions i don't care what their reaction is i have to tell i have to say what i have to say now even if you see some reaction you can get distracted the one way to not get distracted is look here not in the eyes because eyes talk a lot you know your their eyes can also say that i am not interested in listening to you even if you are at your best in terms of your speech in terms of your uh presentation in terms of what you are saying your best but still they are not interested that happens with a lot of lot of people mm-hmm. so if you if they are looking at you and if they are looking in eye here and there just look at your their forehead and keep on talking one is this second is go well prepared i don't know where you are going it depends on the setting and depends on uh, what kind of a setting you are going and saying see informal टॉक्स में तो रिएक्शन कैसा आ रहा है क्या हो रहा है उस पर तो कोई कंट्रोल ही नहीं है उसके बाद आप क्या बोलोगे दिस नो कंट्रोल इन दैट बट इफ यू आर गोइंग इन अ फॉर्मल सेटिंग एंड वी आर टॉकिंग हेयर अकॉर्डिंग टू फॉर्मल सेटिंग्स ऑब्वियसली सो इफ यू गोइंग ऑन अ फॉर्मल सेटिंग एंड यू नो द ऑडियंस एंड प्लीज 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 मेक दिस एन एक्सरसाइज एटलीस्ट फॉर फ्रॉम टोस्ट मास्टर्स परसपेक्टिव आई एम टेलिंग यू मेक दिस एन एक्सरसाइज टू नो योर ऑडियंस बिफोर यू गो ऑन स्टेज और ऑन जूम you know i asked rohan very specifically how many people are coming what is the background and everything i asked him because i wanted to be prepared mentally that what kind of an audience i am going to face right so um uh, know your audience before you go and we are talking about formal settings we're not talking about informal settings here at all right in formal settings everybody has their own way of dealing it 
right? But it, it, formal settings, you need to understand what your audience is. Even if they don't know who's going to come, they at least know uh, what kind of people have registered, what kind of people are coming. Are they, let's say, if it's a corporate setting, are they CXO level people? Are they marketing heads? Are they marketing directors? Or if it's a storytelling session, then um, what kind of, if it's, an, let's say, an open mic you are going to perform on, or um, it's a planned setting where you are one of the highlighter highlight performers of the evening, then you know what kind of an audience is coming. You can always ask the organizers what kind of an audience is coming, who's there. So when you know your audience in a formal setting, be prepared that what kind of different reactions that might come. Right? And if, and plus, if there are 10 people, there will always be two people who do not react on your content. Up just please make this statement a sacrosanct universal truth in your uh, exercise that every every uh, session if there are 10 people there will be at least two people who are will be least interested in what you're saying do not and i repeat do not be bothered by them because they're there to make sure that you're bothered right so concentrate on the, those eight who are listening and third thing, very important, like you're going in a, in a, in a formal setting um, uh, or a storytelling session or a kids, kids or storytelling, it's the way you are saying will make sure that those two remain two and that two does not increase to four and six and so on. It's the way you recite, if you, it's the way you narrate, it's the way you present, if it's the way you uh, uh, talk to them. See, I have been interacting with you people. And I told very categorically in the start that I will be interacting. Why am I doing that? Because I don't want a single person to lose interest. Right? I am, I am interacting with everybody. I am actually scrolling through the, uh, uh, you know, through the screens to see everybody's face. Pratik is sitting in front of the Golden Bridge, which is very nice. <laughs> right? So, uh, um, Interacting with the audience makes a lot of difference. And the way you narrate, the way you say, the way you do will make sure that out of 10, those two people who are not interested remains two and rest everybody, those eight are listening to you, understanding you, interacting with you throughout the session. So concentrate on those eight. The moment you start concentrating on the other two, which are not listening to you, your whole session goes for a toss. Whole session goes for a toss, right? So again, let me reiterate myself because you know uh, I just want to be very clear that voice modulation is not just about voice. It's about the whole package. Your voice, your vocal cords, your gut, your exercises, your hand movements, your pauses. Not just hand movements, full body movement. Right now, I'm just sitting and not able to show you the body movements. But, you know, when you are in a formal stage setting, you need to cover the stage. That's also voice modulation because your voice will change according to your walking pattern. And this can only be achieved by regular, regular, regular practice and exercises. It cannot change when while you are thinking that, okay, I have to prepare myself. Let's see when I do that. You know, it will never happen like that. You have to, have to, have to practice. Uh, I keep on giving Rohan's example because Rohan is the one who's attended my one-on-one -on -one, uh, workshops before. We took a long, multiple, uh, you know, workshops uh, together. So I made sure that he's presenting his story standing, not like he's sitting right now, in the very same room where he's sitting right now. I used to make him stand and then narrate the story I because I wanted to see his whole body posture, his, his hand movement, his body movements and everything. Because your whole body talks. It's not just you who's doing the talking. Your eyes, your expression, your hands, your, the way you move your shoulders, the, move, the way you move your body if you're standing, everything talks. And you know why it talks? And what happens when you do that? See, now, now you guys get, got curious. I took a pause. I emphasized on that. You guys, guys got curious and everybody was like, oh, you know? So 
it works because of the fact that you your body your voice is one right but when you combine your voice your expressions your eyes your hand your body then there are five people who are trying to convince one person or people sitting in the audience it's five people inside you who is trying to convince so five things combined trying to convince people trying to say something will always have a deeper impact than just standing and talking that is why i don't like podium presentations i have never done podium presentations even if it is 1000 people i always walk on the stage even if there's a mic which i have to hand held i'll do that my one hand is busy no problem but my other hand is talking no i can always hold the mic in my left hand and my my right hand because i'm a right hander my right hand will talk with me right so please understand voice is one aspect voice eyes expression hand body are five you have to use all five to make sure that your what you're saying is heard and understood i took pauses multiple times and i widened my eyes to tell you that it is important and i'm moving my hand very closely to you to make sure that you understand what i'm saying right so these are the few things i think uh, uh, we our time is up but i am um, i am open to मैं अपनी हाँ मार्केटिंग करता हूँ रोहन थोड़ी सी रोहन सोच नहीं गए हाँ बिल्कुल बिल्कुल मैं तब कर रहा था बट या अच्छा सो आई एम आल्सो अवेलेबल फॉर वन ऑन वन सेशन विच आई टेक यूजुअली यू गाइस कैन कनेक्ट विद मी अमोल मिश्रा जी एक क्वेश्चन है जी बताइए सर प्लीज Sir, I was asking that how can I improve my pronunciation skill? Because in India there are different, there are a lot of languages, and our regional language affects a lot uh, our pronunciation. Because uh, uh, I spent my childhood in Punjab, and if we are talking about Punjab, it's a little bit fast language. Like they, they sometimes call it. They could, they don't call scooty. They call scooty. And uh, after that, I moved to Bihar. and there are this language some people uh, don't say shakkar they say sakkar mm. so it affects our hindi in pronunciation mm. Mm. and mm. it looks very bad i am doing storytelling from last three years oh, and uh, this defect came into my language also so uh, how can i improve this pronunciation skill okay see uh, anmol pronunciation skills can only be improved by reading yes sir right i okay i'll give you a very very sweet example uh, mm-hmm. since i'm a i'm into film making and everything i met manoj muntashir saab who's the mm-hmm. dialogue writer of bahubali and also the yes. lyrics writer of mit teri mitti mein mil jao and all that i met yes. him in his office in bombay okay yes. and i was just talking to him and i and i asked a similar question to him mm-hmm. that sir what is a performer's block and if i am not able to pronounce certain things what do i do so he gave a very sweet example very very sweet um, you know reply he said we are like a glass hmm. and anything which is speaking writing public speaking whatever is like spill over right hmm. now understand ek glass mein se spill over kab hota hai when does the spill over happens in a glass when the glass is absolutely full yes right not mm-hmm. to fill this glass you have to read and listen now for you to uh, to to improve the pronunciation there are two things which i will recommend listen to audio podcast of urdu hindi and english okay listen to some urdu urdu shayari podcast urdu recital podcast listen to some hindi um, storytelling podcast listen to some uh, uh, you know english podcast now what will happen once you start listening 
you will start mm-hmm. noticing few words how they are pronouncing now when do you when you notice those words pause and then repeat after them yes. it's a it's a long uh, uh, short but i'm i'm sure it's going to take some time but then that is one exercise which you do when and if you do you will uh, be able to correct your pronunciation in a, in a lot better way than anything any course teaching you that thanks thank you totally agree with you amrit because since childhood i've been reading and listening equally yes. uh yes. listening to people like amin sayani and other uh, speakers regularly so the words do of do count, register in your subconscious automatically with the right yes absolutely it. absolutely so i think uh, two question hai abhi yahan par chat mein wo aur le leta hu main ek question hai ki sir one question how can we avoid speaking fast while speaking i don't realize if i am going slow or fast okay this is question is from riya now riya uh, speaking fast is something which comes naturally to a lot of people again the exercise to speak slowly can only be done by you by again listening to people who you idolize you think they go speak fantastically well you think they speak great either on audio podcast or youtube or wherever jinko bhi aap idolize karte hain inko aap sunti hain jinko aapko lagta hai ki ha ye if i am able to speak like him or her i have achieved something in my life listen to them and repeat after them while you are listening through headphones word by word like for example what happens when you you know when you switch on the music and put on headphones you start singing with it right if you know the song you start singing with it right when you remove the headphones you suddenly realize oh what kind of voice do i have you know but when you're listening when you're singing while the headphones is put on you you feel that you are the most surreal person in the world right similarly when you put on headphones and listen to your youtubers and repeat after them slowly slowly you will realize that you are speaking exactly like they do and when you start doing that remove the headphones and then repeat exactly what you just heard on youtube in the exact same speed do it regularly very very regularly and i can tell you in few months time you'll you know you'll see the difference in speed of your talking okay uh, question uske baad kiya tha sir sir please suggest how to make different voices at a are different voices at the same time matlab kya matlab mimicry karna chahe ho bhaiya क्वेश्चन किसकी तरफ से है पारुल बजाज जी पारुल जी देखिए ये तो अगर इफ इट इज अबाउट मेमिक्री मेमिक्री इज वेरी वेरी मेमिक्री कैन नॉट बी टॉट आई हैव नॉट बीन एबल टू टीच एनीबडी मेमिक्री टिल डे टॉट अबाउट मेमिक्री इट्स अबाउट द स्टोरी टेलिंग सेशंस ओनली लाइक आई यूज पपेट्री एंड ऑल इन माय वर्कशॉप फॉर किड्स हां सो दैट इज कॉल्ड दैट इज आस्किंग okay so again that is voice voice exercises um i understand where you coming from i was coming to that podcast mein um if you go uh, rifta ka naam aap logo ne suna hoga rifta foundation ka jo rashn ne rifta karate hain so uh, rifta ki website pe um, in fact amazon audible which has audio books there are they have they have uh, these manto ki kahaniyan and premchand ki kahaniyan those are in my voice um uh, Uh, all of them are there uh, i have uh, narrated those stories for rehta foundation which are uploaded on amazon audible app now if you listen to those stories right i have played all the characters myself in my voice whether it's a girl whether it's somebody very aged whether it's somebody who's my age whatever i have played all the characters myself now i understand where you're coming from when it when it's when it's puppetry you have to have certain different voices now that for that you need to do voice ex- voice exercises you need to practice heavy voice with your gut you need to practice practice very low voice with vocal cords you know those those kind of exercises so if you have to lower your pitch and load do those exercises do do this also you know this is this is a very very thin voice where you can um uh, jisme bacche ki awaaz bhi nikale ja sakti hai if if it's a kid ka puppet and all that <coughs> right but this is what happens when you you know yeah. play with your vocal cords too much so 
उसके लिए आपको वॉइस एक्सरसाइजेस बहुत रेगुलरली करने पड़ेंगे वॉइस थ्रू एक्सरसाइजेस करने पड़ेंगे अभी सेशन बहुत लंबा नहीं है एक्सरसाइजेस बहुत सारी हैं बट uh, मैं आपको सजेस्ट करूंगा uh, कि आई दर यू कनेक्ट विद मी सेपरेटली ऑल्सो रोहन कैन गिव यू माई इंस्टाग्राम आई डी एंड माई नंबर एज वेल uh if you guys want to connect separately uh other than that you can go to youtube search for some voice modulation exercises do that right do that you will understand what i am trying to say because these things cannot be taught these can only be learned through different practices and exercises right mittul i think you have a question yeah so uh in last few weeks i have been visiting some clubs some toastmaster clubs uh, that are that are situated in bangkok germany colombia etc and mm-hmm. i i went to a club which is in jamaica and then african and those people those uh, there was a club named ebni toastmasters club so <clears throat> these people on average were very expressive were very grounded in talking uh, Ex- they were very easily ex- um, using voice modulation and very expressive and uh, very clear in their emotions. Like if they if they are saying and they they want to say low, so they are literally when going uh, using their voice to like low. Low. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I don't know how to uh, do do that. It's again metal. It's again exercises. Yeah. Nothing else. Do See, some people are gifted some people are gifted i can tell you that some people can do that from their childhood uh, but some people achieve it by exercises including me okay all right so it's not unachievable it's not something you can't do uh, so there is an exercise which okay now i will tell you to lower and higher the uh, pitch uh, you rohan you remember that exercise yeah you do now uh, uh, let me see how much you remember let me see now you take you tell the exercise mm. yeah so okay let me just clear it rohan remembers it very nicely so there is a exercise you keep your hand like this and hum hum mm, mm. you know so you with your hand gesture hand gesture is just to make you feel ke aap upar ja rahe ho aur phir niche aa rahe ho in terms of your pitch and hum from your vocal cords mm-hmm. as low as possible ye shuru shuru mein thoda kam hoga but eventually when you start doing it more and more ye kafi badhta jayega i think that answers the question Yes, I think um, session को अब यहीं end करते हैं. Um, how to make your voice heard in group? Okay, last question ले लेते हैं. Let's take this last question. Okay, there's a very um, sweet technique which I learned in my MBA days. Now, for example, if there is people of ten, ten people, ten people group was sitting and everybody is like, no, 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 listen to me, no, no, I'm no, 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 listen to me, no, no, listen. I'm t- everybody is shouting like that. Now, what happens is um, when you it's it's called disruption technique how to disrupt some an environment which has which is you know which has all all the loud noises right now how you disrupt that by speaking something very low in the lowest possible voice hum um listen what i am trying to i was also saying when you so it's a human psyche when human brain suddenly get used to the loud noises and suddenly hear, hear something which is very low it get disrupted uh, what what yeah what 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 were you saying it's a human psyche but i and feel human... that the low voice will get lost in that uh... no 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 it that's the myth that's the myth ma'am it's a myth that it gets lost if you say it in the right pitch for example if everybody is talking loudly and you say okay so it you know i was also trying to say that you know so it's not that ki aapne ek word bola aur wo ho jayega you have to say a little you know a, a sentence in that and suddenly people will start uh, what i heard something out of the blue it's human psyche it's like when you hear something out of the blue 
you get attracted towards it and trying to figure out what it is you have to pitch pitch slowly pitch slowly yes the pitch has to be low but you need to make sure that your voice is heard yep and it's human it's basic human psyche aap bhi ghar mein baithe ho aur achanak se aap aap tv dekh rahe ho and you're watching tv and you're getting used to the loud loud voice of either a cricket match or a movie or whatever suddenly somebody says something from the kitchen ek mute kar ke ha what kya you say that right suddenly your mom or somebody from the kitchen said something which you heard faintly just came into your ear very faint and you were in mid of your movie or a match and suddenly you paused or you mute the tv and kya bola ma you know this is human psyche this is basic human psyche anything which comes out of the blue human mind gets attracted towards it and wants to find out what it is this is very helpful thanks not a problem any time that's what the workshop is all about and uh, how to overcome fear of asking questions in front of field seniors iska koi suhel sahab iska koi ilaj nahi hai iska koi ilaj nahi hai to aaj tak main soch raha hu kaise karte hain iska koi ilaj nahi hai ye ek rog hai ki kya kahenge log agar maine pooch liya sawal to iska koi ilaj nahi hai iska ilaj sirf ye hai ke jo apna kaam banta to bhaad mein jaye janta theek hai iska ilaj sirf yahi hai ठीक है और कोई इलाज नहीं है इसका इंग्लिश में ट्रांसलेशन नहीं हो सकता सॉरी आई कॉन्ट ट्रांसलेट दिस इन टू इंग्लिश रोहन विल ट्रांसलेट फॉर मी इन दिस इन टू इंग्लिश एंड टेल यू गाइस लेटर ओके नाउ दिस इज द एंड ऑफ द एंड ऑफ द सेशन रोहन यू कैन प्लीज पास ऑन माय नंबर इफ एनीबॉडी वांट्स पास ऑन माय इंस्टाग्राम इफ वांट्स टू कनेक्ट आई कैन पुट इन द चैट विंडो फॉर एवरीवन टू सी या दैट्स आल्सो या Okay, so my Instagram, Instagram is. I hope it was a good interactive session. It was definitely so it's fantastic. So uh, it was wonderful. I would say. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ahmed. Excellent session. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I am number bhi isme dal raha hu. Highly for you. <laughs> Sorry? Thank you for the wonderful session. It will be lovely. Thank you so much. It will be lovely a lot. Thank you. My pleasure. My pleasure. I have I have put in uh, my Instagram ID and my number onto the chat. If anybody wants to connect, if anybody wants to um, learn something else, uh, I'm all open. Not a problem. Great. Thank. Great. Thank you. Love to connect. Yes, of course. Or, Thank, you so uh, baki, Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Ahmed, for coming. Apne, Thank you so much, Rohan, for calling. Baki, apne podcast ke link me aap logon ko de dunga. Uh, surprisingly, I usually write and recite uh, horror and paranormal stories. Uh, so, if somebody is interested in that, more than welcome. Yes, right, I so. think you'll go sleepless for days if you after listening. Yeah, he, he, he's, really he's, he's, an he's an example. He's heard that. He's heard that. <laughs> oh, that is why Rohan was not able to sleep. Oh my God! Yeah. Now I know. Yeah. Oh God. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank Great. you so much. Thank you, Rohan. Thank you, everyone, for patiently listening and understanding what I am trying to say. I hope uh, to connect with you guys on a different platform as well. And uh, God bless. And stay safe. Stay indoors. Thank you so much, Emma. Thank you.